At least 127 people were killed and over 530 others injured after a magnitude 6.2 earthquake struck China's northwestern Gansu province. <laughs> Intense rescue operations are currently underway. The Chinese President Xi Jinping has called for all-out efforts in search and relief work. The quake caused severe shaking and heavy economic damage flattening homes and buildings across the area. The earthquake knocked out power, water and supply and transportation services in some parts of the adjoining Qinhai province. It was followed by several aftershocks. In the province, at least 11 people have been killed and more than 100 are reported injured after the string earthquake. As per authorities, the quake sent people running on the streets. The earthquake triggered a landslide, half burying a village in northwest China. Many homes are covered and some residents are feared to be trapped. The 6.2 magnitude earthquake was logged in the Gansu Qinhai border area late on Monday, the same area where Haidong is also located. The epicenter of the quake, Jishishan County, is about 100 kilometers to the southwest of Gansu province's capital. As per the state authorities, the temperature in the Jishishan County nosedived to minus 14 degrees Celsius following the shocks. Building collapses have exposed people to subpar temperatures at a time when China is experiencing record low temperatures. The Chinese top leader Xi Jinping has ordered the deployment of heavy workforces to prevent secondary disasters caused by factors beyond the earthquake. The country's emergency management office has activated a level 4 disaster relief emergency. Tents, folding beds, warm covers, food and water are being supplied to the people affected by the quake. The Gansu province, where the earthquake wreaked havoc, is one of the poorest provinces in China. Parts of the province falls within an earthquake-prone belt and is at a distance of approximately 1,400 kilometers from the country's capital, Beijing, and about 950 kilometers from China's worst earthquake sufferer, the Sichuan province. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.